Hi pals, I am actually obsessed with lurking the beauty community on YouTube and I promise you that this is not going to turn into a beauty channel but I saw this trend happening with the how I used to do my makeup in high school and figured that I really wanted to make this video. No one's tagged me in this to do it, I don't even know if that's how it works. As many of you may or may not know, I used to be a goth slash emo scene kid in high school, which I personally think is hilarious. Now, unfortunately, I deleted all of the photographic evidence, so I'm here today to recreate those makeup looks for you. When I first discovered eyeshadow, I had this really intense look inspired by My Chemical Romance, and so that is what I'm going to do now. I used to use this Maybelline cover stick, but I actually have worse skin as an adult than I did as a teen, so I'm going to be using more of it. This is basically what I did. We didn't have those fancy beauty blenders. We had these things that come in like a pack of a million, so that is what I used to blend this out. Wow, oh my god. Nothing else, by the way. This is all I put on my face. Like, this is it. I feel like there was a point where I used this as foundation. Um, it is Manic Panic Red Eyeshadow that I literally put all over my eyelid. I don't know if I had a crush on Gerard Way or I just wanted to be Gerard Way. I think it was from seeing that Helena video. You know the one I'm talking about. <laughs> and thought I was like so cool doing it. Looks great. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I revisited red eyeshadow. But like not to this extent. Mm, bring it I don't back. think anyone should wear red eyeshadow. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. You look lovely. So this completes the uh, the 13 year old emo kid look, and I wondered why no one would talk to me. After that hot mess, I was still a goth in high school, but I was more inspired by Emily Autumn. And this is when my best friend, Julia, behind the camera, like, wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> she was scared of me. I'd cover my mouth in concealer. And then <laughs> I would take some powder. Powder her up. <laughs> so you couldn't see my lips. But that's the only place where I would put the powder. So, like, it didn't go anywhere else on my face. So it was just really weird, not cute thing that I did. It was, like, supposed to be kind of like a heart. What else did I listen to? Like the birthday massacre and just like really electronic inspired goth music. And this is how I did my makeup then. This next look is when I really wanted to look like a raver even though I didn't go to very many raves. Um, and I discovered this magical Annabelle white eyeliner and I decided that I would put this all over my eyelid as a base because why not do that? I think that's something I learned on YouTube. It's actually really hurting me right now, this fucking pencil. I think I've had this since I was like 16. That's, that's what happened. Like I got like this like makeup book for a gift. Like I was looking at these like really cool eye looks. I was like that's what I want to do every single day of my life. Like I decided I'm gonna be a makeup artist. I remember that makeup book. Yeah, you remember it, right? With some little weirdest shit in it. And I was like, these are great everyday casual eye makeup things. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the same MAC white powder that I had in like the 10th grade that I'm using now. Probably shouldn't be putting this on my eyes, but you know, what else? I think everyone who buys this makeup just hoards it because it's so expensive and no one wants to throw it away. And like, I'm the same apparently. Or maybe it's just me. And then I would take some sort of magical color. Oh wow, I remember this so vividly now. Oh, <laughs> it's coming back. <laughs> I thought I could blend really well because of this white, like, eyeliner mess that was on my eye. So I just thought that it was like a magical thing that I discovered that no one else knew about and no one fucking told me that my eyes were literally a disaster and sometimes I would do this where I would do like each eye like a different color I'm really fucking weird with it <laughs> dead and I now started filling my lips completely which is a step in the right direction but like everything else this is I don't even know 
I don't even know like what to say about this, but this <laughs> was the way I did my makeup. I don't know how old was I? Maybe 15 or 16. Forever just adding blush to this look. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all let me look like this. So it was at this point in my life that I discovered what a hair straightener was and styled my hair kind of like this. I'm gonna get right into this very scene kit-esque look. Nude on board, the MAC Sailor line that they did. And kind of just put it on my face around here. Still no foundation. Also didn't realize that I could do anything to my eyebrows yet. So that was... Still a thing that was going on. I think I did like an all over nude shadow. No real blending or much of anything <laughs> at this point. Just something very light in contrast to what I had been doing for the past, I don't know, ever. I had, I had good friends. They, they eventually told me that my eyeshadow was just a bit too much. I think they were probably embarrassed going out with me that's fine i get it what did i say exactly though i think you no know, we were at the mac store and i was picking out this weird colors and i'm palette. like yeah and then i was like maybe try some neutrals <laughs> yeah like all neutrals <laughs> okay i do remember that i'm like maybe yeah. put down the like lime green <laughs> i don't even know if i can do this anymore but at one point i could put these on my face Oh my god, I remember this feeling so much and it sucks so badly. So here it is, my final look of high school. As you can tell, I am the queen of subtlety. Um, I drew inspiration from Barbie or something. I was obsessed with Jeffree Star at this time. Still low-key obsessed with Jeffree Star. This is more or less the makeup that I do now. I just add the foundation and I do my <coughs> eyebrows and I like don't wear these things. Well, that was a fun trip down memory lane for me and my friend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out and liking and commenting and subscribing and doing all the stuff that you guys do. You are awesome and I hope to see you sooner rather than later.